How do you start starting strength? If you like the video, please like and subscribe. One of the great things about starting strength is that literally you can start from wherever and make rapid measurable progress. But if I'm someone that just read the book or watched one of Grant's YouTube videos on why you should do starting strength, then where do I actually begin? I've talked about before in a few of my videos that you need to find your baseline day one, meaning that you have some capability of strength and on your first day training, you need to find out what that capability is. And then from there, you're going to add weight each time. You're going to take advantage of the stress recovery adaptation cycle. But I recently got a question from someone that said, how do I know what my baseline is? How do I know where to start? They, they can't find anything on this. And so that's what we're gonna cover. So based off genetics, your parents' ability, you know, how you were born, what you did as a child, you have some baseline of strength. The job of a good strength coach is when you walk into the gym to figure out where you are, but you're on YouTube, so you're probably not using a strength coach, so what can you do? You read the book Starting Strength, it makes sense. Find your baseline, add weight each time, go up each time, get strong, but where do I start? So my advice to you would be to go into the gym and start with an empty bar. A 45 pound bar, maybe a female needs a 33 pound bar. If you're weak and detrained, maybe you need a 15 pound bar. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Do some squats. Do your best to do them as we lay out in the book and then add a little bit of weight. So let's say you start with a 45 pound bar. Maybe you do the 45 pound bar. If it's super easy, add 10 pounds to each side. Maybe 25 pounds to each side. If it's hard, add two and a half to each side, but go up a little bit. After a few sets of adding some weight to the bar each time, well, now you need to decide, hey, how hard is this and how much can I do? If you're getting started by yourself, this is probably gonna be difficult. Most people that I coach sell themselves short. They come in, they tell me they've been doing starting strength for a few months, and I put them under the bar, and they end up squatting 50 more pounds than they were doing on their own. That's the nature of the beast. But the point is this, the reps need to be hard. You still need to be able to think and comprehend all of the form and technique things that you've learned, but it needs to be hard. If it's not hard, you're actually not at your baseline. You have to find out where you actually are, and then you do a set. If you can do a second set immediately after, it wasn't heavy enough. You need to need rest between sets. Here's why. There's something called adenosine triphosphate, which is basically what you use for short burst of energy. So like if you and I were gonna go sprint in the parking lot for 40 yards, we would totally deplete our ATP. I'm mad, you beat me, and now I wanna race again for revenge. If we try to race immediately, we can't actually sprint. We're jogging, why? Because ATP's been depleted. It's the same thing in strength training. I do a really heavy set of five, and what happens? Well, if I tried to do another heavy set of five right away, I wouldn't be able to do it. So a new trainee might need two, three, four minutes rest, an advanced trainee, trainee may need five, six, seven minutes rest. The point is that you're going to need time between these high effort sets and the next high effort set. So when you first try this, don't make your first set so heavy that like you won't be able to do the second. However, make it hard. Make it where you need a few minutes rest. So where's your baseline? Start with an empty bar, add a little bit of weight. Do a set that when you finish, you're out of oxygen, you're breathing hard, and you realize, hey, I can't do another set right now, but I could do that again after a few minutes. That's your baseline. Get three sets of five there, then start adding weight. Hope this helps you get started in starting strength. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.